just received from Amazon large figure storage box 80 figure capacity so we're going to tear it open take a look at it this has got two tiers so you can store your 25 millimeter human size figures in and smaller I, I believe that's the case they make a couple of different ones of these. They make another one that has a green label on it. They're both called large figure storage boxes. But this one has two tiers. 80 compartments for 25 millimeter miniature figure, soft foam protect, painted miniatures, durable polypropylene case, ideal method for storage and transportation, secure locks, latches, and lifelong hinges. These things take two hands to open. If this one is, is anything like the other one I've got, and I'll show you that one in a minute. It does take two hands to open. They are really kind of... This thing's not going to fall open easily. Okay. So, that's how thick. About five-eighths of an inch thick. Foam for your miniatures to sit in. I seem to recall when I got the other one. I might have taken an X-Acto knife to... The corners of this foam to get these pieces out um, but it turned out to be kind of a tedious waste of time you can just pinch these things out and of course you can take an exacto knife and make a bigger slot if you really want to you can see the size difference between the two um, different prefabricated holes and then we got another tier of quarter inch foam for your little guys to rest in and then smack dab in the middle we have what appears to be chipboard and a little strap to pull up the chipboard with you see the strap there and then below that we have another identical layer right is it the same yeah it's the same so it's about five eighths of an inch thick now these things these cases themselves far as I know are the exact same dimensions as the the single 40 capacity so you're looking at 2 and 5 eighths and uh, 17 and 3 eighths or a half 7 and 5 eighths let's see if we can put some miniatures in it huh? I want to see how deep they go that goes in first and then we got this guy here. Oh, here's here's a gargoyle. Maybe that's not. Eh. Let's try a standard human figure. This um, the base is taller by about a quarter of an inch. I mean, if you got a swarm of goblins will fit in there all right so this one we can get it centered this is the 40 capacity it's the exact same dimensions as the last one i just showed you however instead of having two tiers it's only got one these are the pre-painted icons of the realm knoll fits right in there if i were to buy another one of these deep deep ones i might cut out larger spaces because I've got like a shambling mound that would fit in here. I mainly bought that shallower two-tier one for the goblin hordes I bought and I also picked up a bunch of the icons in the realm uh, pre-painted. There we go, kobolds. And I got another goblin warband, a kobold warband. And these are a lot smaller so I thought I'll just get that double tier one. I'll put up the links for these guys. All right. I hope that was helpful in, in letting you decide whether or not you want to pick this up. This thing really does take quite a bit of effort to open up. It, it's not going to open on its own. You have to really kind of wrench back on those clips to, to get it to open. See, I'm struggling with this one already. Your miniatures are not going to go flying everywhere when you open it up. And this one also it comes with that top foam. So your guys are protected all, all over. Chessex did a pretty good job at this. They're stackable. They're all the same dimensions. They make smaller ones. But, I mean, if you're going to get into miniatures, it's like a, 
one of those rabbit holes that once you go down, you, <laughs> you have a hard time coming back from. You guys take care. Remember, like, share, and subscribe.